Hey gang, today we are still continuing on into spooky season and we are going to be doing a monorail crawl here at Walt Disney World checking out all their brand new Halloween snacks and we got to start here right at the Contemporary so come along. Come along. It's based off our name. Now you guys just saw me go to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and get a bunch of treats but we have yet to venture out into the resorts here at Walt Disney World and check out all of their delightfully frightfully food. Each different resort on the monorail loop has brand new Halloween snacks so we got to start here at the Contemporary Resort and the Contempo Cafe. Let's get this treat crawl going. We got to go all the way up to eat the treats. We're heading up the escalator. Oh look at this. I'm already seeing some spooky vibes. Okay, Scarecrow Goofy might be better than like Cowboy Skeleton Goofy. Maybe not, but that's really cute. Look at Pluto popping out of the pumpkin. And look at Mickey Skeleton. He's living his best life. He's just, he's literally posted up. He's just leaning. We're trying to get our first food item and we already had an epic fail. I walked up to Contempo Cafe and tried to put the mobile order in for it and didn't see any of the Halloween treats that were listed on their menu. So I went up to a cast member and I said, hey, do you have any of these Halloween treats here? And she's like, are you looking at the Disney food blog? And I said, yes. She's like, that is incorrect. We do not have any of the Halloween treats here. So I don't know if they're gonna be getting them at the Contempo Cafe in the future, but they are saying they have none and even the Disney food blog is wrong. So I guess a lot of people have come there and try to get the treats, but luckily we are not gonna be without a treat here at the Contemporary. It's just gonna be across the street here at Bayview Gifts. They have quite a few Halloween treats we can check out. And not only do they have tons of treats, check this out, they have all the Halloween gear. Oh, I could get in trouble spending all the money, but. I'm here to spend all the money on the snacks, not on the oh, Mickey pumpkins. <laughs> Travis, Travis, I need 10. I need not just one. How many would, how much would 10 be? Oh, $600 for 10 of them? No, no, no problem. They can go in my little pumpkin patch. Speaking of pumpkin patches, check out this cute little pumpkin Mickey cupcake. They have like a little spider one. They even have some giant Halloween spider cookies up here, or a little mini, mini mouse spider cookie. But I'm gonna check out, I think, their new arrivals. This one is almost like a spider frosted Rice Krispie treat. The lovely cast member also pointed out that this is a new arrival, and although it's more of like a fall vibe, less Halloween vibe with the fall leaves on there, she says it's pumpkin spice flavored. So I think I wanna try that and this delicious little spider Rice Krispie treat down here. I was really worried that this whole day was gonna be a bust and I wasn't gonna be able to figure out this monorail crawl because I had planned what snack I was gonna get at every stop. So keep an eye out open for Contempo Cafe that they might be getting stuff, but right across the way, in the gift shop, they have plenty of treats we can try. And I wanna go with the more Halloween-y one first before I dive into the pumpkin spice fall vibe. This to me is just like quintessential Disney Halloween vibes. They even made the Rice Krispie treats orange, which I love, and the pattern on this is just so much fun. Monorail, we're gonna be getting on that soon for sure. And you guys know how we eat anything Mickey-shaped, ears first. Whoa. It's very sugary. I'm actually very shocked how well the Rice Krispie treat tastes, like the actual treat. Sometimes when you get it, they could be a little stale. The treat is actually really good. The like chocolate icing is the part I'm not sure about because it is very, very sugary. But I think as long as you're sharing, which I am, sharing is caring, right Trav? You'll be okay. And let's cut this little pumpkin spice cupcake right down the middle, see if there's anything fun inside. I'm assuming the pumpkin spice is just more in the actual cake part. I'm not sure if there's gonna be anything inside here. Place. You guys see first. What do you think, what do you think? Nothing inside? All right, so probably maybe the pumpkin spice is in the icing. We're gonna find out. Here's yours, Trav. 
I gotta do ears first on this too. <laughs> How am I gonna do that and get the cake? I don't know if I can. I gotta, I gotta go here. Yeah. The cast members swayed us in the right direction. See, sometimes the best treats are the ones that don't necessarily like look the craziest or the prettiest. This one just kind of had a couple fall leaves on top and a little bit of icing. Definitely would not pick it out of the glass case, but I'm glad we did, right, Trav? So pumpkin-y. Yeah, it's all in the icing too. I think the- I think the cupcake is too. I just got like yeah. little seed looking things. Yeah. You can tell there's definitely like some pumpkin and like cinnamon in the actual cupcake part, but all your classic pumpkin spice is definitely in that icing right there. So good. Now, before we continue on with all these delicious desserts, I think we need some real sustenance, some real food, and that's actually how we were able to park here at the Contemporary. I made a dining reservation over at Steakhouse 71. A lot of you guys always ask, how do you get to park? at these monorail loop resorts unless you're staying there or you can take a boat in from the Magic Kingdom. But if you're not doing either one of those things, just make a quick little lunch reservation and you too can have your very own monorail crawl. But let's grab a quick bite and then we're gonna head to our next stop at Disney's Polynesian Resort. We're gonna split their French onion soup. It's rich beef broth with croutons and gratin cheese for $10. And when you're at Steakhouse 71, you have to get their stack burger. It's signature beef blend, pork belly, American cheese, lemon aioli, red onion, and house-made pickles served on a brioche bun for $23. I definitely had their burger before, so I know I'm gonna be stealing some of that from Travis, but I've never got their French onion soup. It looks stunning. Let's see if it has a good cheese bowl. You guys know I'm all about the cheese bowl. Whoa, it's going. It's going. It's gonna be out of the frame. Oh yeah. That was a very, very good cheese bowl. Very nice Steakhouse 71. Let's see how your soup is, and especially with it being so uh, dreary out. I feel like it's a very, a very soup kind of day. Mmm. Where's yours, Travis? Where's your French onion soup? This is so good. And it is just packed full of onions. Like just delicious, yummy, perfect, perfectly caramelized, sweet. Mm. Very good. Now for the good stuff. Look at this burger. You can definitely split it. I think it's a pretty big burger, especially with the bacon on there as well. And then it's a double patty, right, Chad? Yeah. yeah, double patty for double the fun. Mmm. Cooked to a perfect medium. I usually don't like bacon on my burgers because I feel like it overpowers the taste of the burger. It's pork belly. Oh, it's pork belly. That's why, so maybe I like pork belly on my burgers. You can see this huge piece of pork belly right here. Look at it, it's like candied bacon. Really great burger, get it every time. Steakhouse 71 never disappoints, and I don't think this monorail crawl, the way it has started, is gonna disappoint me either, but we gotta head back on the monorail and get to our second stop over at Disney's Polynesian Resort. and we are finally here at Disney's Polynesian Resort and I know we are having some good luck here because I already see our next treat over here at Kona Island Cafe. This is a vampire stitch cake. It's chocolate cake with raspberry ice cream cone and buttercream for $8.29. Cuteness overload and this is most certainly a little Halloween treat. I don't want to mess up. I don't even want to cut into him. Look at this little vampire stitch. He has the little vampire teeth and then even down to like the vampire cape. 
sticking up in the back there. I mean, I feel like he almost is already a vampire with his crazy teeth. He's and even got a little cut in his ear. Well, that, yeah. Just cut in his ear. It's got the little stitch where he needs a little stitch right there. Um, allegedly, this is a chocolate cake with a raspberry cone ice cream. So like, is this melting inside? I'm not sure. I don't know why they call it that, but I'm assuming it's gonna kind of be red inside, like vampire blood a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. It's I almost don't even want to mess it up. I know, and a lot of this is fondant, so I want to kind of cut down the middle and see what's inside. It has to take a while to make, right? Each oh. one of them, it looks like a lot yeah. of care is gone into it. Yes, this is like an art piece, which is why it's not like a $5 snack. It's almost a $9 I feel like it, treat. When you get something like that, it's a lot of work put into it. Yeah. It's worth the eight bucks, whereas you see some stuff, you're like, why is it that price? It doesn't exactly. make any sense. Exactly. But this might be a looker and, and not a taster. We're gonna find out. Sorry, buddy. Sorry to do this to you. <laughs> oh yeah, the fondant, I can definitely tell, is a little bit hard to get through. Let's spin them around here, and then I'll give you half of... Oh, there goes his nose. There goes his nose. <laughs> Check out the inside together. What does it look like? Is it very raspberry? Oh, it is! Oh, this is gonna be good, I can tell. Okay, Trav, get your napkin. <laughs> we're gonna need all the napkins. Um, I feel like we're gonna be blue inside and out by the end of this. Maybe there's like cut up ice cream cone. I think that's what it is. There's like little bits and pieces in there that I think might be like waffle cone almost. All right, dink it. Sink it. It's good. I love it. Fine. Anything chocolate raspberry is my vibe. I wouldn't say it's giving me fall flavors. Again, I wish that like the flavor profile had more fallness, but I guess raspberry, they were kind of thinking the raspberry and chocolate is very savory. It's good. I mean, I like it. It just kind of tastes like a brownie cupcake almost. Like. It does taste like a brownie cupcake. Um, I definitely don't need the fondant. You can just eat the inside. The fondant, you guys know what that tastes like. It's literally just sugary icing, but this chocolate cake is moist, and I have to say, Stitch would be proud. Should we try a little Stitch ear for fun? We always eat the Mickey ears. Why not the Stitch ear? Thin. Very thin. Should have made it like bubble gum or something. <laughs> Stitch bubblegum ears. I love that. And you can even see that Stitch is kind of like the Halloween mascot this year. They even have a brand new Stitch candy bowl here in the Polynesian lobby you can pick up. How much is this beautiful bad boy? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50? 50 bucks, but it's definitely giving tiki vibes. I really, really like it. But I don't know about putting my putting my hand in there and grabbing a treat. <laughs> He's in his little Halloween costume. He loves it. They've got even a cool little Stitch pumpkin sweatshirt as well as a tie-dye black hoodie Stitch. Well, luckily they did have that vampire Stitch cake dome, but unfortunately we have been duped again by Disney Food Blog over at the Pineapple Lanai. They're supposed to have a Mickey pumpkin soft serve that also was supposed to drop on August 9th and it is not there. They're saying they think it might come um, more close to October, but really disappointing because there's supposed to be so many more Halloween treats already dropped here. But like I said, I was mainly here for that uh, vampire stitch it's cake. It's be too late if it comes in October. I know, I mean, there's too many see. treats to get to, yeah. but luckily we still have one more stop on the monorail crawl and because we didn't get a second treat here, we might just have to pop into the Magic Kingdom and grab a treat in there as well. But let's make our third stop over at Disney's Grand Floridian. And as soon as you step off the monorail, you are greeted by Basin White. It's super packed in there right now. So we're not gonna stop in. I usually love going to wash my hands in there, but I did wanna show you their seasonal soaps. Look how cool these are. You got your little Mickey and pumpkins, your witch hat, little pirate. I really like the pumpkin, Mickey and bat one. Some fall leaves and then your classic spooky Mickey. They call it a spooky Mickey. 
and we are making our way to Gasparilla Grill here at the Grand Floridian. I will say I'm a little nervous that they're gonna have what I want because on the menu I already looked and it looks like they also only have one of the things that they said was gonna be here, which is like a mummy cupcake. And then they're also supposed to kind of have this like poison apple tart that was supposed to be here and at the Contempo Cafe. So I guess as long as we can get one thing that's good, but I am a little bit disappointed because I was hoping to get as many Halloween treats as possible today. So we might just have to come back and do a whole nother round before Halloween gets here. And luckily we have like what? Two months, yeah, <laughs> two and a half months. A we have plenty of time, but let's head into Gasparilla and fingers crossed they have our next treat. And this is Gasparilla Island's Halloween exclusive. It's a Halloween mummy cupcake. It's spiced vanilla cupcake with apple compote and milk chocolate mousse for $6.49. Okay, I do not know what is cuter, that Stitch Dome cake or this Mickey mummy cupcake, you guys. Let alone all the cute little like cloth mummy tape it has on it the ears and then look at the back even like a little mickey mouse tail poking out of the bottom this is adorable i even love the kind of like fall like what would you call this gingham checkered checkerboard yeah. fall vibes and you can see it's like a full dome cake in there and i'm pretty sure the main flavor is supposed to be like apple so that should be a really fall fall festive flavor for sure we gotta try to cut this thing in half Let's peel down the paper first. This is huge. This, they're calling this thing a cupcake, but I feel like it's just a cake. Isn't a, a cupcake the point of that it's supposed to be little and tiny? Lots of little bit of coconut on the back. I know, I'm losing my coconuts over here. Is that what it is? Or I think is it, it's like rock candy I, or something. Yeah, let's see. What is this? It's like rock candy. Yeah, it's like little crystallized sugar. All right, I'm going to try to split like where the ears are at because I think that that's probably the best thing to do. Let's see if you can see the apple compote inside. You guys will know before I know. Can you see the apple compote? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could see the apple compote <laughs> and smell the apple compote too. It looks really good. All right, Trav, sharing is caring. Here you go. Look at that delicious apple compote inside. It is stuffed and pouring out. They did not skip on those delicious fall apples. All right, I tried to get the perfect bite, the compote, the mousse, the cake. The flavor. Oh my goodness. Flavor profile wise, this is definitely the best thing we've had all day. Probably my favorite thing about it is that it's cold. I love a good cold dessert, but I was thinking that the apples would like taste more like, like applesauce since it was cold, but it doesn't. It is like perfectly sugared. The mousse is like not too sweet, not too tart. I love this dessert. I kind of thought this was gonna be one of those like, looks good but doesn't taste good but no what would you say this tastes like mummy pie <laughs> I thought you were gonna say christmas Well, you can tell we have made our way into the Magic Kingdom. I did not plan on coming here today, so I'm definitely getting excited. There is a not so scary party here tonight, so we kind of got to get in, get our final treats and get out. And we've had so many treats today. I think I'm wanting a little more savory options and they have tons of savory options. But if you guys wanna see what you can get at Magic Kingdom treat wise, definitely make sure you check out my not so scary video cause I got all the desserts that day. But let's go check out Casey's Corner. I think that they might have a few Halloween exclusives we can try. And Casey's actually has three different Halloween exclusive treats you can get during the day without having to have a party ticket. They have a chipotle barbecue pork and street corn hot dog as well as the same toppings but on the mini corn dog nuggets 
or the same toppings on french fries and the french fries are only $7.79 compared to $11 and $14 so we're gonna go with the french fries these are the chipotle barbecue pork and street corn french fries it's french fries topped with fire roasted corn queso fresco and cilantro for $7.79 the amount of queso fresco that is on here is crazy. They make these french fries look like it's street corn. I can see some of the roasted corn as well. And this guy happens to love street corn. So Trav, why don't you dive in? Do us the honors. I feel like this is gonna be very messy. Oh, there's no way to do this not messy. You gotta get some pork, How some you... fries, get a little bit of everything. <laughs> Double dip it. I like it. You may not like it. Cause it's got like the barbecue sauce. I know, when I saw that it said Chipotle. That's the way I wish it wasn't so barbecue -y. Barbecue tasting, but. Yeah, I, you know, all of them are kind of barbecue. You can't get it not barbecue. I guess it kind of goes with the street corn. Doesn't seem like it would, but. But I almost wish it was more of like a Mexicana flavor then, if it's gonna be the street corn, right? And not yeah, barbecue, it seems but. Like kind of combined. But let me try it. There's a big piece. We got some corn. There we go. That's a good bite. We got the Main Street Band coming through. Let me take a bite and then we'll give them a watch. This is what I will say about it. I am not the biggest barbecue fan but I think for under $10, actually under $8, this was seven something, I think this is a hefty amount of pork, cheese, and fries. So I think it's a really, really good deal for the price. One more bite. I just like it okay. I think if it had more of like a jalapeno cheesy vibe and less of a barbecue vibe, I would get it again. But still, awesome portion, amazing street corn. Good job, Casey's. I, I think it's a pretty, pretty good snack. And with that, our monorail Halloween crawl has come to a completion. I think my favorite thing that I had for the day was that last thing at the Grand Floridian, that mummy cupcake, that apple compote inside was wild. Gave me all the fall vibes. Trav, what was your most fall vibe moment of the day? I'd say probably the same one you said. No, you can't do that. You have to say a different one. <laughs> all right, well, I, don't, I guess the first cupcake did. Yeah, all the pumpkin spice vibes. So really, flavor won over beauty today. We were looking to feel all those fall flavors. Well, you don't get a treat just to look at it. It's got to look good. You don't? It's got to taste good more than it looks good, <laughs> I think. I guess that's true, but we had a lot of treats that tasted really good today and I know we're gonna have so many more throughout the season so make sure you guys are subscribed you hit that like button and leave a comment below what was your favorite treat we had today and as always peace love and positivity and all the good things love you guys bye